is the close proximity to earthquakes by cities Wellington and Christchurch in their hinder their ability to attract immigrants. So this is one of the reasons Auckland is being overpopulated, apart from the numerous job opportunities it offers. Let me tell you something about Auckland. In Auckland, you'll see a lot of these little hills everywhere. Uh, so there is one hill called Mount Eden. There's one hill called Mount Wellington. Uh, there's a nice island uh, uh, of the uh, you know uh, sea in uh, Auckland. It's called uh, Rangitoto. Uh, that's the name of the island. It's called Rangitoto Island. So all around Auckland, you'll see these little uh, hills and like cones and all that. You know, guess what they are? They are all old volcanic cones. And apparently, uh, Auckland has got 50 or 60 of them. So from a natural uh, disaster perspective, it is very, very difficult to predict and say, you know, Auckland will not erupt or, or you know, Wellington will not have another earthquake or crisis. The reason why a lot of people flock to Auckland is because it has become the economic powerhouse of New Zealand. So like in, you know, a lot of uh, a big country, a lot of uh, cities in the world, you know, in, in America, New York would be the, the center of uh, gravity for every practically everybody on the East Coast and on the West Coast, probably it will be Los Angeles, uh, which is like the center of gravity. So I think each country develops these big centers of economic power, like Mumbai in India, for instance. And that is why certain cities tend to get overpopulated, like Auckland, for instance. But the government realizes that, hey, look, we're getting maybe just too many people coming into Auckland. So they're kind of now trying to create a regional development fund. They're trying to grow the regions. They want more people to get out of Auckland because obviously it puts a pressure on uh, the infrastructure, housing and everything else.